Welcome back everyone to another episode of GTA Online Did You Know? And today we're actually answering the question, do you know how to counter the oppressor and the deluxo in a super easy way? And this also goes for some of the other annoying weaponized vehicles like the Vigilante or some of those pesky helicopters like the Buzzard or like the Sea Sparrow. It sometimes works on some of the armored helicopters like the Hunter and the Akula, but this is mainly for some of those annoying vehicles that you see people driving around and are flying around in all the time and online. Now, the reason these vehicles that we're trying to counter are so good and so powerful is because of their rockets. The rockets on the Oppressor, the Deluxo, the Vigilante, even the Runer 2000, the second they start beeping, it doesn't even need to be a full lock on. If they shoot those rockets, nine times out of 10, they are hitting you. Unless they hit a wall or something, something becomes between you and the rocket. If that doesn't happen, you're getting hit and you were dying. And that is very, very frustrating. And especially with the oppressor, people can call that in instantly. So even if you get it destroyed or you kill the guy or that dude runs out of missiles, he can just call it again in like 20 seconds, if that, and have a brand new oppressor ready to come and kill you again. And you may try and take on another oppressor with your oppressor, or you may try and use your vigilante or your deluxo and fight these people. But the problem with that is that if you, let's say, use your oppressor to fight another oppressor, you may end up killing each other, which isn't the best case scenario. Yeah, you got the kill, but he killed you too. And the reason that is is because those missiles are so powerful. You guys both hear that little beeping, shoot your missile, and then pretty much you're gonna kill each other. And that goes for any of these vehicles. Now the way to counter this, there's one vehicle in the game that I, I, I really love because of this. And I feel like it is such an underappreciated vehicle. Yeah, it's not as flashy as some of these other ones. The customization isn't anything you know special. The, the looks honestly aren't anything special, but what it does is actually have armor and it has those missiles that lock on and will take people out. Now, what vehicle is this, you may be asking? Some of you guys may know, because you may be smart enough to realize how good this vehicle is, but the Stromberg, the vehicle that can actually go underwater. So that's actually another little plus. But the Stromberg is the counter to the Oppressor and the Deluxo and the Runer 2000 and the Vigilante and all these other annoying vehicles in the game. Yeah, you could just go on the defense, right, and get your Insurgent or whatever, and... That's fine if you have that and if you don't want to spend the money. But the problem with that is that you're not going to get revenge on these people. And plus, they're probably just going to keep coming after you and after you. And while your car, your truck can tank those explosions, it's going to get annoying. But with the Stromberg, you get the best of both worlds. You get the armor so your car doesn't blow up in one rocket. And you also get the firepower. Now, as for some tests... Just to give you guys an idea of how good this thing is, I tested it with the Oppressor and with the Deluxo, and both of them, it takes six of their missiles to hit you to blow you up. So six missiles from, I would guess, a Vigilante, a Rune 2000, an Oppressor, a Deluxo, six missiles from that will kill you. Now, yeah, that's not as good as the 20 or whatever it takes for the Insurgent, but the weapons is where this thing comes in handy now as for the weapons you can see they pretty much are the same missiles as all these other ones they go the same speed uh, and one thing you'll actually notice here just from the ground now the oppressor doesn't have this problem really uh, in practical or like in gameplay because you're usually flying and stuff but if you're on the ground the oppressors missiles actually hit the ground like way sooner so they end up blowing up but you can see compared to the Stromberg uh, compared to the Deluxo the Stromberg and the Deluxo pretty much have the same missiles the, the part that differs is the lock-on. So you can see in these side-by-side -side tests, the Stromberg's lock-on, it ends way quicker, way sooner than the Deluxo and the Oppressor. The Oppressor and the Deluxo have a much longer lock-on. So that's the only downside with these missiles. But they're pretty much the same missiles in that once you hear that beep, doesn't even need to be fully locked on, fully red, you know, the square, you can shoot them and they will hit your target. And you may have seen that already in some of the gameplay. Now, what I did, I had about, you know, four or five friends all get in their oppressors or their deluxos and try and come kill me. Yeah, 
sometimes they did get me because taking on four or five people it's not that practical like you're not a god in this vehicle like you're good and you're gonna survive most stuff but when you got four or you know four or five oppressors shooting at you it is somewhat hard to uh to take them all out at one point i did i i did get them all i even got like a vigilante in there took him out but it all comes down to you know kind of luck because you have to hope they mess up and stuff but the stromberg is the counter to these vehicles and the best part if you actually buy it from either today tomorrow or monday like as of me making this video it's on sale it's 25 percent off so you can save like 600 or 700 thousand dollars i believe it's 1.7 million now where normally it's like 2.4 million so i hope this video helps you guys out and i will over the next couple of days be putting out a more in-depth guide on weaponized vehicles and what each vehicle counters or how each vehicle counters another vehicle in the game because i feel like that's something that not many people know because you'd be surprised and you may be thinking you know I i've talked all this time about how good this vehicle is and i'm sure there's gonna be some people who probably already left this comment dude i already knew about the stromberg the stromberg's the best weapon in the game but look here's the thing i cannot tell you how many times i've been in an online public lobby busted out my stromberg because there's an annoying guy in an oppressor in a buzzard you know in a deluxe or whatever i go after them take them out we get in a little fight or whatever and then they call me a hacker and the reason they call me a hacker is because they think just shooting one of those missiles will blow up my car but that's not the case it's gonna take six buddy you're the freaking idiot who doesn't know the stromberg is so good you know that's that's why i'm making this video because i feel like no one out there apart from like this really small minority knows how good this vehicle is now i will say the handling the driving it's decent like you're not going to be doing anything crazy in it it's good for you know for everything else right it's it's good enough but you shouldn't be expecting like super car performance and one of the other pluses is that yeah it can go in the water so worst comes to worst in your fight if you need to escape you know be by a body of water go in there they can't follow you they can't get you and one thing i did forget to mention at, at one point you may have seen it but one thing i end up doing a lot with the stromberg when i'm in a fight if someone does hit me a couple of times with the missiles you, you'll see the smoke and you can go to the pay and spray to fix that now you are limited and all these vehicles are limited uh in terms of how many rockets they can shoot i forget the exact amount i want to say it's like 20 on the stromberg but going into a pay and spray doesn't actually replenish those missiles you actually have to go into your garage so for me i have a garage i have an apartment in the city and i figured that's where most of the fighting would be done so if ever i run out of missiles i can just go in my garage fill up and come back out it takes like 10 seconds so i hope you guys now see the light i hope you guys use this to your advantage the stromberg may be one of the most powerful vehicles in the game it's not completely overpowered though because there are still ways to counter it but the one main problem i've seen a lot uh, of people complain about and just in general the oppressors and the deluxos people in them griefing well now you know how to counter them and how you can make them mad at you and probably call you a hacker so there you guys have it thank you all for watching please drop the video like if you did enjoy let me know your thoughts in the comment section are you one of the people who knew about the stromberg or is this like a revelation to you this is is this something new anyway thank you all and i hope you guys uh, do end up checking out that weaponized vehicle video i will put out probably in a couple of days because i think it'll give people a lot of answers uh, maybe that they wanted to know like what's better for this situation what's better for that situation but anyway subscribe to the channel if you want to see that if you're not already but thank you all and as always i'll see you guys in the next one